And our first pitch is going to be by Supported Troop Maca Social Living Greens Urban Farm. Supported Troop, come on up, give it up for him. Hello, everybody. 99% of Americans wake up and enjoy freedom. 1% wake up and defend it. What Supportive Troop does is connect that 99% with that 1% in a memorable and impactful way through gift giving. Hello, my name is Brandon Duckwitz. And the reason I started Supportive Troop is because I used to be a part of that 1%. I remember back when I was in Afghanistan, Every single month, we'd get a large connex of care packages from home. And during my time in Afghanistan, I would see, as soon as these care packages would come in, a lot of morale would be boosted and the atmosphere would immediately change. We would be laughing and joking about what was in the care packages and how great it felt. But some, some of us felt a little left out because some of us knew we weren't getting care packages from family and friends. So I, and because we knew we were getting it, we felt left out. And It felt like it was Christmas time and all your parents, and it felt like it was Christmas time and you were send, helping give your, giving presents out to all your brothers and sisters, but none of them were for you. That your parents forgot about you. And it felt like that every single month until I got home. The worst part of all is that organizations that had good intentions and strangers that really supported our troops would send these care packages, but they would be thrown away due to too many items that were similar in them. So when I got home, I pushed all those terrible feelings and all those emotions and all that stress from being deployed far down inside of me, and I just picked up and I soldiered on and I forgot about it. It didn't bother me anymore. But then when I was in my junior year of college, my little brother joined the military and rose his right hand as well. And then all those old emotions resurfaced again. And I didn't want him to feel the way I felt. And then that feeling grew much larger. I didn't want anyone to feel the way I felt. So I, so I went back to Afghanistan as a contractor to relive the solution to relive the problems that I remembered and to try to develop a solution so my brother didn't have to go through it and neither did anyone else. When I was there, oh, this isn't working. Okay. When I was there, I noticed that not much has changed. There were still soldiers that felt left out. Care packages were still being thrown away. And there was, and there was, oh gosh. <laughs> okay, I don't know what I'm going on. <laughs> Troops, in it. okay, okay. When I was there, I noticed that care packages were still being thrown away and soldiers still felt left out. And there was still no convenient way to help a deployed troop. So I created a solution, the Supporter Troop mobile phone app. Now I'd like to take a minute to show you guys a quick video that we produced about 10 minutes ago. Uh, and in this video, uh, it shows how powerful our team is because I was, I was a director of the video, I produced the video, I was an actor in the video, I was, a, I was everything in the video. And then my partner edited it and was also an actress. And we frame by frame, we've worked on it. So please, uh, it's short, and I hope you enjoy. It's our demo product.
We believe that behind every deployed troop, there is a patriot that would support them. A patriot that would show them they are not forgotten. With over 2,000 gifts sent that were all personally requested, your generosity will surely be appreciated. Download the supported troop app today and be the best part of a troop's deployment. So there's a lot of features and benefits with this mobile phone app. This app solves all the problems of the traditional ways of sending out care packages for both the donor and for the deployed troop. For our troops, they could create a personal wish list so everyone knows exactly what they need. They send out, you could receive free gifts if you're a deployed troop, and there's tracking and notifications, and the best part is also, besides the fact that anybody could help a deployed troop now, they could also send it to their family members where they could you know, follow them and help them and support them while they, but they're in country. The donor has a lot of benefits as well. There's no trips to the post office. They don't have to worry about putting an APO addresses in or any of that weird funky stuff that the military has. Um, they, it logs all their past orders. They receive tracking notification and then they get a message and a photo back from the deployed troop building a connection. We have a simple drop shipping business model. The donor that's participating and wants to help the deployed troop buy something off of their wish list, then it gets distributed through Amazon and then the troop receives a gift. Because our business model is so simple, we are scaling very quickly, organically. Um, because of our, uh, and we generated $36,000 in revenue in 2021 and year to date, we've generated over $80,000. We're projecting to do, with your guys' help and strategic marketing strategies we in place, to do $160,000 in revenue by the end of this year. And by 2023, we believe we could hit $320,000. Our milestones for 2022 involve reaching 10,000 plus downloads, sending out over 8,000 gifts to deployed troops and creating so many connections, being featured on multiple local news stations and surpassing our 2022 projection of $55,000 in the first quarter. We also had an insane amount of growth, of growth in our social media platforms, uh, increasing by 300% just with, since December of 2021. Um, uh, we have uh, collectively about 36,000 followers and believe within a few months we could have 60,000 followers by the end of the year. We have a total addressable market of $2.5 billion and we have a service obtainable market of $1.5 million. We have a large unique advantage over our competitors. And because of our unique advantage, that's why we're so far in the right sector, because no other organization has high customization for the deployed troop, and no other, uh, focuses, no other organization focuses on the connectivity between a troop and a donor. And because of this, we don't believe that we have competitors. We think we have an opportunity, we believe we have an opportunity to partner with these guys to help them with their missions and impact more troops. Please enjoy this short testimonial video of Megan, who is currently deployed in the Middle East. Hey guys, so I'm gonna do an unboxing. I kind of already opened it, so besides the point. But I wanted to make a video and talk about Support a Troop. It's for deployed military members, and you get sponsored, and people send you things that you need. And it's super beneficial because you guys know that it's hard to buy some things over here. So 
It's really nice that they do this. It always puts a smile on my face when I get mail in the mail room. So first, go, go, squeezes. Let's go. This is the best snack. Um, I got a planner because I got to be planning, you know. Keto cookies. <gasps> Thank you. And last but not least, an Amazon card. Let's go, guys. You better check it out. You will. Thank you later. In the future, we would like to move forward to help put videos on the app so soldiers could send back videos to uh, people that participate in helping with them. Um, it really means a lot to me that there's connectivity being built between the two because what both parties are doing is impactful. Our team consists of myself, who is very passionate and driven to my, for my mission. Through this whole journey, I've done many things crazy, like living in cars and like flying to Afghanistan and just anything it needs to take. Get educated. Been through multiple uh, school programs, like Strive program and the in lab at HCC, and I've done. A, 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 I, I'm not afraid of learning. And my partner has uh, Abrianna Goodrich is the chief marketing officer. She has well-versed amount of talents through all the programs through uh, with Adobe and she has a BFA in graphic design through uh, Liberty University and she's also a military family member. Um, my chief technical officer is a very wise guy and he uh, really enjoys being in service and helping others. He, he, has a, he specializes in cloud infrastructure and platform development and he is just willing to learn as well and grow and work with others. He's, he's a, it's a really great team and we have done a lot together. My asking fundra fundraising is uh, $10,000 and how we would split it up is uh, develop a KPI dashboard using $2,000 of it so we can make better decisions moving forward. Um, we don't have a, a dashboard that gives analytics and like customer acquisition costs or anything like that and we would really find that beneficial. Uh, $4,000 would be to develop out more cybersecurity because we, I take security very serious but we are organically grown and raised and with the profits of myself and uh, with, with that we could really use it because as we grow there's bad actors that are out there and they might you know, it's not good. So I want to take precaution against that. And marketing, I would like to use $4,000 towards marketing to push out our initiatives because we've been doing it organically this entire time. So we believe that $4,000 would really put us up there and do a lot for the troops and get our, our mission out there. I'm also really happy to let you guys know that my little brother did serve overseas and he did receive many care packages through the support troop app and so did many others and I would just like to say that I welcome any of your questions and thank you so much. Brandon I do have a question. Um, you stated that it, it seems as if uh, a large component of your your marketing strategy is geared towards uh, deployed troops. Is that correct? Yes. Um, so with with the downsizing or the or the removal of troops from from combat, how has that affected your business? Have you projected or you've shifted a focus to a different market of people? I'm interested in knowing how you're going to go from from 80,000 start to 320,000 um, projected in next year and we don't have as many troops deployed uh, at this p particular time. I see public empathy beginning to dwindle uh, in support of our deployed troops because not as many are deployed anymore. Have you, have you accounted for that? I'm just interested in knowing where, where you're shifting in the market and how you're getting that, that projected figure. Yes, uh, we have accounted for that. Um, the support troop name is for all troops and right now because I've been deployed, that's where my heart lies. But I would also like to push into markets such as crowdfunding, where we're helping out service members that are deployed, I mean, not deployed, but are actually in country. Also, um, we 
uh, we also not just help like combat deployments, um, also like Italy, Germany, these guys are still isolated and you know, just like you saw during the COVID pandemic, a lot of them weren't even allowed to leave their bases or their rooms most of the time. And that's still a toll on the mind um, and the spirit. So I just want to keep pushing forward and we have multiple ideas for that as well. Also, I, um, I, a lot of, even though there is a downsize, um, what we've been able to accomplish so far or has only been with only like 700 to 1,000 troops on the app all to collectively over the last uh, 18 months. So I think um, we could still, as it grows, we would still have a lot more troops on the app that I think so would still fit that that range of the $320,000. Were those gross, so those were gross numbers? Yes. Okay. Oh, so not profit, that was revenue. Yeah. Okay, so what, what's, what's your pro average profit? Uh, we have a, a about 30, 30 to 35% just like um, average drop shipping profits would be. Okay. Right, and I have a question. Have you, uh, have you formalized any partnerships with the services so that they could help generate interest among service members? I had a brief uh, conversation and partnership with the BOSS program last year, but we just weren't fully developed yet. Um, but they seemed very interested in helping their soldiers and uh, uh, putting out resources through our app, which I was very happy to do because um, because like there's a lot of weaknesses in the military area where uh, troops may those, those single soldiers they're not that interested in like a lot of the programs but because there's like this incentive to come on the app because of free gifts we could put these amazing free programs that are offered through like the boss program on the app so like if there was say you're in Italy and uh, there's going to be a trip out to Venice or Ven uh, like Venice it could be like promoted on the app, so then these guys could actually select and sign up for it, and so then they could get out of the barracks. Because it's like what Support Troops mission is, it's kind of for mental health, and we're doing it through gift giving, um, but I would be open to doing anything that supports and promotes mental health for our troops. Of course. I guess uh, one question I have, I, I clearly understand the concept, what, what I'm not clear on yet is what is the mechanism? How do you actually earn revenue from this? I understand that that uh, you have app and development costs for the app and then a, a, a donor yes. walks it through the process and pays for the product, pays for the shipping, I'm assuming. Yes. How do you earn the revenue? So we just have a, we tag on a service charge and we have a business, business prime account. So through it's really cool. So through Amazon, we don't pay any shipping fees. So every item that we send is shipped for free, and then we kind of tag on this service charge, and that's where we pay. And we also upcharge on some items a little extra, about $2 range. But, um, but it's really awesome because a lot of these products, because of Amazon, they are, they are what's that called, uh, lower than retail. So we kind of just put them at retail value. And then like trying to ship like a 12 case of rain energy drinks, that's gonna cost like 30 bucks through the post office. Through us, it's like $2. So um, to, uh, that, I hope that answered your question. I'm Brendan, I had, I had a question. Uh, you talked about you and your competitors and you talked about collaborating with your competitors. How do you see that? Is that uh, sharing uh, access to your platform, or how do, how do you see that working? Yes, I would like to develop a, a part of the platform out so nonprofits could then sign up as a nonprofit and then deduct the service fee so they could still support their mission but actually like really impact a lot of the soldiers. Plus, they'll get photos back from the troops because they'll have an account. So, we'll say like Right now we're partnering with like this organization, a local, it's called the Stano Foundation. So they would have an account and say Stano Foundation, they would you know, get something for a troop that's on the app and then inside the app, the troop could send them a photo back. And then, uh, you know, then you'd see like even the people that are participating in helping Stano, they would see like all these, this activity of how this organization is helping all these troops. 
So um, we, that's how I plan to do it. And, uh, and we have already wireframes built out for it. We just need more extra income to build it out. So you see using some of this funding that you have, is that coming out of the marketing side or coming out of the uh, uh, cybersecurity piece? Where do you see? Well, uh, we imagine marketing and then bringing in more gross profit revenue and then having a little extra income to develop more things out. Uh, we're going to focus a lot on our initiative um, through Support Troop and the brand and building it out as a, like a strong brand so then it's trustworthy for, uh, so when we do approach them, they know who we are and what we're doing. Hey, Brian. Yes. So you look from going from 30 to 80,000, 80 to like 320,000. How, how many troops serve at that number? Oh, we served over a thousand. Um, we don't have a KPI dashboard, which is why it's such an important thing because uh, I can't get these pre key performance indicators back. I kind of visually see it, um, but we definitely served over a thousand. There's it's like a lot, and I wish I had the KPI dashboard so I could just right off the top of my head tell you an actual number. You projected three hundred twenty thousand. Yes. And so you're saying you don't yet know how many troops that would be. I know that the average, well, I, I'm focused, uh, so when I think about numbers like that, I think about the donors that come to the platform, because the troops, there's like 500 plus with like many, many items on there. So what we, so like I would know like the average purchase is around $50, right. talking about like some spend like 200 to help a troop and then some spend like 20, so averagely it's about 50. So I know uh, I would probably need a neck, another, Another thousand donation, like a uh, donations or orders. Okay. Hey, I just so like three thousand. Question for you, if I can. Uh, listen, uh, the vast majority of small business initiatives uh, fail because they're undercapitalized. Um, yes. Who's who's footing the bill for this now? And as you pivot and look for different strategies. Um, what is your plan if your projections, if your pro forma doesn't uh, meet expectations? Um, is there a safety net there? Is uh, what other uh, investment initiatives are you looking at to help you get past those times? I'm gonna go to a lot of pitch competitions, but um, but right now uh, it's it's the cheap like the it's very low our expenses. Like we're spending maybe $1,500 in expenses. Um, we're, we do very well every month. We, oh yeah, and I've, initially, when I was deployed in Afghanistan, I put up my own money, but now it's just been generating by itself organically and it's, it hasn't been like a hassle to keep it up and running. And uh, now we, we get orders every day and um, I just don't, I don't think it is a, a a worry of mine. It used to be last year I thought about things like that, but now it's just pushing forward and has been, everything's been pretty grand and fine. So Brandon, um, obviously you're talking to the right audience, right? Yes. With your cause. So as you think about the application, have you considered other causes that this would work with? Yes, I thought about another application called Fill a Fridge, where it would help underprivileged communities, where people could, instead of going the, where people could, who need food, could just kind of sign up for an app, and then people that wanted to buy them food could buy them food. Thought about that over COVID, because I knew a lot of people weren't ha having the, the income for that. And plus, when I was a younger kid, I would actually go home uh, like towards the end of the month, we'd run out of food stamps, and I kind of just eat macaroni salad every day <laughs> that my grandma would make. Um, so it was good macaroni salad, but not for ten days. 